Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button, also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. Take any sector in this country. Are we doing well? Is this nation not drifting very badly? Is, is it in terms of economics? Is it in terms of security? Is it in terms of employment? Take an example of what you just mentioned in your opening speech, that the universities are still on strike. 180 something days. What, what, what is the full academic year itself? The Minister of Education, despite the fact that the President gave him a marching order that this should be resolved within two weeks. Here we are, middle of August. Our boys are still at home. Our girls are still at home. These are the future leaders in this country. What is going on? If a party that is there and uh, uh, that is supposedly given powers to manage the resources of this nation for the benefit of the people cannot find a solution to this, I hope Nigerians are watching. I hope Nigerians are listening because we have an opportunity to vent our minds in the next few months to decide who will manage this country. It is disgraceful. Whatever Bola is looking for in Baba's house, I have no idea. But I can tell you that where truth will be told, he will not mince his words to tell him. As a leader, as an icon, as a father, he must allow all kinds of characters to pay a visit to him, to listen to his words of wisdom, to listen to his sense of reasoning, and I have no qualms about that. So I wish him to be clouded by the truth. You know, telling the truth to power honors all those who stand by the truth. I, I don't think we have enough time to extray the state of legal state. Is it the economic state, the financial state, the general security of lives and property, the well-being of millions of children who are just roaming about the whole street? Look, it has nothing to do with me personally, but I am concerned because I was born here. I am a bona fide Lagosian. We knew what Lagos was like. And Lagos remains the commercial nerve center, not only in Nigeria, but in the whole of West Africa. What has this fellow done to us? I have asked a very simple question, and none of them has been able to answer it. Who owns the Alpha Beta Company? How much has the Alpha Beta Company stolen from the coffers of our treasury in Lagos State. Now, who of those children, millions of them, milling around, local government by local government, what has been his input? What has he done to alleviate the pains of the people of the state? So when I listen to jokers talking, and he has done so much, two-time governor, and is there any governor? that had been there, that was not handpicked by him, number one. Number two, you see, the beauty of this uh, uh, process we are heading into now 
is the fact that we thank the government of the day for bringing and changing the procedure in the electoral uh, process of, of our country, Nigeria. You know, after the election in, in Ocean State, he was quick to discountenance and to disabuse, to say all kinds of things that is not working. Results are now being screamed. They are screamed perpetually, instantaneously, as the votes are there. They are no longer carrying ballot results, sheets, from one location by hand where he had gotten so swollen that he manipulates the results with his own uh, congregation and his colleagues, this time the will of the people will be respected. The will of the people cannot be subjugated or subdued by any of his lackeys. The results will be affirmative. This is when you are now going to know whether he is really in charge of Lagos or not. Because all along we've been shouting manipulations of results from the polling stations to the uh, uh, collation centers, even results being hand carried from Lagos, from the remote areas of, of Nigeria to the collation center. That, that's a cake. And we have modernized. Nigeria is now joining other civilized countries in the world to say yes, those who will be elected by the people of this country Judge, will uh, be before genuine, we get into, honest, yeah. because the, the, the voice of the people, the voice of the people will be respected and heard loud and clear. So forget about all this Sherina uh, Graham of, uh, of yesteryears and all the deceit and all the filthy things. Just one to, question to judge, that he needs uh, to yeah, answer. So, uh, before I get into the internal issues Alpha in Beta, your party, do you even, do you realize, can us now, do you, she, she, also, do, wait, yeah, do you so, realize that today, outside the federal government, outside the federal government, the, the, the greatest debtor is Lagos state government. Who owns the Alpha Beta? How much is Alpha Beta company being paid monthly? How much does he take home as part and parcel of the Alpha Beta? What is going on? Everybody is pretending that that doesn't happen. And you now want to entrust the resources of this nation to a man, a man like that, a first-class clown, who has mismanaged the resources of our people uh, in Chief this Judge, state? I don't know if you can hear me now. Please. I just want to the fact that for several years, as a leader of the mm. PDP in Lagos, your party yes. has tried without luck to defeat Bola Tinobu's camp. And perhaps you're saying, oh, this is a personal uh, 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 war for, by uh, Bodejo against Bola Tinobu. You have an opportunity to clarify if this is a personal uh, war uh, between you and Balatin, well, perhaps uh, maybe a grievance that you have not been able to beat him in the governorship and the contest in Lagos State. You know, I have told you that the processes embarked upon since 1999 had been completely undemocratic, very archaic, very subjective, very, 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 very uh, 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 stupid. We had had elections from polling stations and people hand carry results sheets to a collation center. You know what happens? One, once we get to the collation center, they would make sure that our own uh, observers were driven away. And he, he puts his own people there, they manipulate the results and tell you, go to the tribunal. But since the last three elections, the governorship election in Anambra, governorship election in Ekiti, the governorship election in, uh, in Oshun State, 
we have modernized. We have modernized. There is no longer any need for a charade. We are now back on the same platform as the civilized countries, developed countries in the world. Our results, you can even key in into the results that they are streaming them electronically. No more interface of human uh, manipulators. So if you keep saying he has won, he has won, he won, he won that, he, let us wait. As long as the INEC remains above board now to do that, to, to make sure all the election results will be transmitted electronically, then you will see the voice of the people. You will see the actual command, co commitment of Nigerians to the people they want. What we have been doing is such a charade, absolute garbage, rubbish. And I'm saying now we thank God that it is still the APC government that introduced it and made sure that it was approved. We tried. When Baba was there, Baba Obasanjo, Professor Abu Iwu was the first who was trying to introduce the electronic transmission. But he failed. The members of the uh, National Assembly at that time rejected it. But now we are modernized. Yeah. We have moved to another stage in life. And let us see what yeah. will happen when we do these next sets of election. That's all I'm saying. I, I have absolutely no qualms, no quarrels with this guy. But all I know is that everything he has said he owns, or his name is this, his school is that, is, is a bundle of lies. It, 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 it's a pity. When you ask, simple question I've asked, perpetually, who owns the Alpha Beta Company? Lagos State today is the next state in, in, in debt analysis to the national government. After yeah, federal judge, government yeah, depot, I mean, Lagos yeah, State is next. To, so what are we yeah, talking about? Who is going to pay? Of the People's Democratic Party. Who is going to pay?